I've sat here and recorded three announcement bar videos for Squarespace. I realized I hadn't really spoken about announcement bars whatsoever. And so I thought, okay, well, let's <laughs> let's get them all out the way. Let's customize our announcement bar in as many ways as we can. And one of those ways is changing the color. So the color of the text and of the background. So in this video, I'm gonna take 20, 30 seconds and show you how to do that now. So up here, you can see that we've got our announcement bar. All we need to do is click into either here on the paintbrush to get to site styles, or we click on here in styles, same thing. We go into colors and then we find the, um, the theme that the top section of the page is using. So in this case, it's darkest one. We're gonna click on that and then scroll down until we see announcement bar. So that there'll be a title somewhere. Let's see, announcement bar, there we go. So we change, let's say the background to white and then we can change the text. I mean, the text works as black or gray to be fair. Not yellow, not gray, and certainly not white. So you can change that. Or if you wanna go custom, you can you know make it whatever you want. So let's just do red because, oh, I'm crazy. <laughs> um, we go to save, and then let's go to another page. So pages, uh, we'll check out about, and you can see this uses a different top color or top theme. So we go back into site styles, we look at colors, you can see this one uses lightest. So click on lightest, and we'll go down again to announcement or announcement bar, should I say, where are we? I think I've gone too far. There we go. So let's say I wanna change that to yellow and I wanna change the text to black. There we go. So anytime a page has lightest at the top, it's gonna to use this color. Anytime it has darkest at the top, it's gonna to use the other color. So hopefully that was simple. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.